All right, guys, I'm going to show you my method of cutting an object in half. I've got a rather large Marvin here. I'm going to copy him and paste him over to the side. Just anywhere right here will do. Um, sometimes I do this just one object at a time, but in this case I'm going to show you both so you can see the top half and bottom half at the same time. I'm going to drag a box out here. I want this box to be large enough to completely cover the bottom half and then the top half of my Marvin. So what I'm going to do is figure out a best, the best place to uh, cut this guy in half. That would probably be somewhere around his eyes, probably about right there. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me just make sure it's covering the whole thing. It looks like it is. I'm going to duplicate this uh, box. And the way you do that is hold down control and hit D. Control D is duplicate. And now I can drag up my second one that I just duplicated and place it right on top. I need to make sure there is no gap here. Looks like that completely covered it. I'm going to check. Yeah, you can tell that goes down below. There it is right there. All right. Now that I have that one, I'm just going to move it over, slide it over to the side, make sure it's covering this Marvin. Looks like it is barely, but it is. Check it from the back. All right, we're good. So now I'm just going to turn this into a hole, turn this into a hole, select the first Marvin, hold down shift and select the hole. I'm going to group those together. takes a few seconds. I'm going to select this hole, select this Marvin, group them together. And now the last step is to place this guy right flat on the surface. Looks like that's it. Let me zoom in closer so I can tell. I think that is it. Let me just make sure. Sorry. There it is. Make sure it says zero. All right, now to print this, you would just, uh, actually, I just realized it would probably make a better print if we flipped this guy completely upside down, 180 degrees, and then adjust them to wherever you want them to be laid out on the build platform. That would be good. And then you would just go to design, download for 3D printing, and choose the STL option.